Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my final prediction for Mr. Supranational 2019. So I will be releasing my top 20 today and of course we have just witnessed the I think two weeks long journey of these incredible men to be the next or to be the, the successor of India's Pratamesh Molinkar. And today, these are my top 20 based on everything that I have seen, their personality, their beauty, their preliminaries, their bodies, and everything. So let's begin. My number 20 is Philippines, Denver Hernandez. Honestly, I find the performance of Philippines a little bit underwhelming. In this competition, he is being overshadowed by other contenders. His great asset, though, would be his face and his boy next door charm. My number 19 is Switzerland, Rafael Caria. I think Switzerland is also one of the good looking candidates this year, and his face will be his best asset in the competition. Although I find his preliminaries a bit average as well, I think he will be given a placement still. My number 18 is Chile, Mario Iracozzi. Chile is one of the candidates that also registers very well in photos, but I think the charm that I received from photos doesn't satisfy me when it comes to motion. I mean, he's good, but he just doesn't give me that much spark. Although, in comparison with many candidates, I think he's worthy of a placement. My number 17, Colombia, John Marugo. Colombia is just okay to me. He's got a great body. He's quite confident in presenting himself during the preliminaries. During the formal wear, the shimmering blue tuxedo looked great in him. But for me personally, I don't see him going as far as top 10. Top 20 is very possible though. My number 16 is Netherlands, Mitch Hart. Although I am not a huge fan of him generally, but it was clear and very obvious that he deserves to win the Best Body Award. Aside from that, his preliminaries were decent, so he will be in the first cut for sure. My number 15 is Malta, Josef Vasalio. Malta, my dear, is my personal favorite. He is my Prince Charming in this edition of the pageant. I really love his beauty a lot and his smile melts me with his performance i think he will place and i will be mad if he will not my number 14 is indonesia enrique dustin indonesia's candidate this year looked great he's got an amazing body he's got a great smile and you can feel his confidence during the preliminaries i am not a huge fan of him though but i still see him placing i mean those body is wow my number 13 is Canada, Nathan Johnson. I don't know why, but there's something about Canada that is inexplicably charming. He registers very, very well in photos, and I love his aura during the preliminaries. I would also love to see him get a placement this year. I mean, I, I do agree with the comments on social media. His eyebrows is a little bit weird though, but then again, overall, he's amazing. May number 12, Vietnam, Kang Man Tran. Vietnam is bringing so much charm, confidence, and beauty in this competition. This is the first time they competed in Mr. Supranational, and we all know they've been nailing it in other male pageants as well. His formal wear performance and outfit looked amazing. He also looked great during the swimwear round. My number 11 is Ecuador, Nicolas Asanza. I think Ecuador could be a great surprise this year. I really love his smile. I like his very fun personality. Aside from that, I honestly think he looked handsome as long as he is not doing some overrated movements like the over flexing of the muscles like he did during the swimwear preliminaries. He's also a great talker, so I think he could enter the top 10 and could even enter the top 5 if he does well in the finals. My number 10 is Slovakia, Tomas Kuchuk. He's like the Prince Charming of this competition. His sweet, innocent, and gorgeous face is just irresistible. I mean, his body is just right and I loved it. And that, I, I, what I love about it is his body is great and it isn't too much just like the, uh, unlike the others. Slovakia is such a charmer in this competition, and I will not be surprised if the judges will love him too. Plus, 
He is a well-known singer in his country, so that's a plus for all of us who is following male pageants. My number nine is Brazil. Italo Cerqueira. Brazil is definitely bringing the Brazilian fire and spirit when it comes to male pageantry. I am not really that crazy over him, but I have to admit, he's got a very charming smile, his body looks amazing, and his stage presence is superb i could see brazil doing very well and knowing that he is in the military is also a plus point profile wise my number eight is the czech republic john saul franc czech republic looked amazing and in the pre and in the preliminaries i just noticed that he is the only one who greeted and took a bow when in front of the judges and i love that gesture very much he seems like a very sweet man and his body is one of the best in the competition. I love his face, although I am missing the beautiful smile and energy that I saw during the national pageant, so hoping to see it in the finals. My number seven is Dominican Republic, Angel Holguin. Dominican Republic is another charmer in the competition. He's got a very handsome face, beautifully carved body, and his charming smile is amazing he also did well in interviews he is a great speaker and honestly i will not be surprised as well if he could finish and enter the top five he is a possible top five contender my number six is india varun verma he's another candidate to look very prepared in the competition he's got a great body he speaks very well and he looked handsome he impressed me during the swimwear preliminaries his formal wear looked great but it seems to me that he is trying a bit too much as opposed to pratamesh last year whose charm just comes out naturally but i like varun i think he will not win a back-to-back -back, but i believe he will give a decent placement to india this year my number five or my fourth runner-up is mexico gustavo Duset. Mexico's physique and beauty is the prototype that usually do well in pageants like Mr. Supranational. And I have to say, Mexico is delivering the goods in this competition. He looked handsome. His smile is great. I love the facial hair too. His body is amazing and those abs are popping during the preliminaries. And her walk is very, very strong. I think Mexico will finish high this year and might be even higher than what I'm giving him right now. My number four, I mean, my third runner-up, sorry, is Poland. Tomasz Darzycki. This will be a great redemption for Poland to what happened to him in the previous pageant. I liked him a lot and I think he improved so much when it comes to personality, stage presence, body, and interviews. I could see him placing and could go even high as in the top five, just like what I'm giving him right now. My second runner-up is Venezuela, Leonardo Carrero. I honestly believe that if I just based it on the physical aspect alone, I would definitely hand the title to Venezuela this year. If you followed me before, especially when I started following Mr. Supernational 2019, you know how much I love Leonardo Carrero, even since he competed in the national pageant. During the preliminaries, he was very polished. Everything about him just screams winner. I think the only thing that might hinder him from winning is the interviews, not because of him, but probably by the interpreter, whoever it's gonna be, or it could be the reason that Venezuela just won in 2017. So I, I am assuming, so I am in my assumption mode right now, that the Mr. Supranational organization might not crown Venezuela because they just won in 2017. But then again, this is just my assumption. And I will not be surprised though if he wins because he's perfect for this competition. My number two, is the United States, Nate Cernkovic. USA's victory this year is another strong possibility. He's got a lot of support in social media, which is shocking because, of course, we do not really see that much support from male pageants on social media. And of course, I find that amazing. He received the Mr. Top Model Award after the preliminaries, which I think is very deserving, after he delivered a solid, strong performance in both rounds. I think he also got one of the best bodies this year and very handsome face, no doubt. And it would be great to see a blonde winner this year. So it would be another great possibility. And my Mr. Supranational 2019 is 
Peru. Alonso Martinez Vivanco. Peru is the definition of elegance and charm of this year's pageant. He was my pre-arrival number one, and he certainly did deliver. He maintains his charm in the competition. What I loved about him is that his beauty just comes out naturally, and no one can deny that his smile is very attractive. His body looked great, and he walked great too. I honestly think he would be the most perfect candidate to take the Mr. Supernational 2019 title. So that's it. These are my top 20 final prediction for Mr. Supernational 2019. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.